Here's a new feature coming out in AGI 32 version 16. We call it Design Isolines. Design Isolines are essentially live, real-time direct light calculations to be used while placing luminaires in your projects. The only requirement is you will need to place your calculation grids before using Design Isolines. This makes sense as the software will actually be using those points to calculate your isolines while you work. Let's click on the new Design Isolines button. The first time you click on the command in a fresh startup, the settings dialog will pop up. Here you can enter the isoline values you're interested in using. The most important contour is your design minimum. I'm going to use 0.5. You don't need the fractional minimum contours, as you've often done with templates, like 0.25, but I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm also going to use a one-foot candle contour. I've got a line width of one foot set to make the lines a little thicker, and I've got labels turned on. The Design Isolines feature will consider obstructions as you work until a performance threshold is reached, too many surfaces, in which case it will deselect the capability. Design Isolines will keep functioning, it just won't be considering the objects. Keep in mind, this is a design tool. These are not your end-use computations. Ready? Observe. Let's locate a back-to-back -back luminaire. Looks a little bit like a template, doesn't it? Or a lot like a template. This is where the difference becomes apparent. Watch the blue contour, that's my design minimum. Watch it right there against the property line on the lower side. I'm up to about 86, 87 feet. I can drop it. I can continue to place luminaires as long as I like. I can move one up here and so on. Let's fill out our layout real quickly. Notice we still have the Design Isolines feature on. Let's copy a few. There we've got our direct light calculations showing contours and we can easily see where our minimum illuminance is located. This is pretty cool. Let's bring in a couple of singles. We use locate and orient. Let's put one up here. Watch that blue contour. How about we put some wall packs on the back wall? And that spacing of about 35 feet apart. Hey, that's pretty slick. How about another view and some floodlights on the front facade? Look at this back wall. Aim Z of 30 and a mounting height of 2. Ground mounted. We're going to facade light the front section of the building. Well, that's cool. Now let's copy it. And watch the screen on the right. Hey, isn't that fun? So that's essentially design isolines. This should make your layout work a snap. You can also use it with AutoCalc. Now whenever I make a change, I conclude the command, I'll automatically get my calculations. You can turn on isolines, 
and the design ISO lines dialog will feed the ISO lines dialog. All we have to actually do is turn them on. So now we've got real direct light calculations. Easy enough, once we're happy with our layout, to switch into full calculation mode and do full radiosity solution. Again, design ISO lines in AGI 32 version 16.